everyone and we have for more this war of mine Pavel's able to grab us quite a bit of uh wood which will burn for fuel a little bit of food and alcohol for trading or food for eating alcohol for trading and teddy bears i guess for because teddy bears we need to hey anton throw some fuel in here get a nice toasty that's as toasty as it is okay kai uh we need we need to cook we got a lot, of, a lot to do uh, Katya goes to sleep. Anton goes to sleep. Everyone just goes to sleep. Get, get rested up. Bruno can can work hard, except we need more fuel, which is what we have all this wood for. It's been like two hours making fuel. That's half our wood currently. I would like to make like another vegetable garden, because the vegetables grow so agonizingly slowly. I know realistically three days is like light speed for growing a plant, but this is... In video game time, that's an eternity. Uh, hopefully the traitor comes today. What's his name again? I always forget. I'm always I'm so grateful when he shows up, but I always forget his name. Pavel might be able to go back to the construction site tonight and grab some more stuff. We really needed to stop in winter. Winter is brutal. Brutal for us right now. I'll make some... I think we'll use the canned food just because canned food doesn't require fuel. So we should make two meals, cook two regular meals, and then have two other people eat the canned food. Just because I'm trying to preserve our fuel. Ah, uh, oh, I'm hungry. No, no, not Pavel, you idiot. <laughs> Keep sleeping. Uh, do we have enough? Actually, that's exactly enough water. I'd love to make some more water after that. So guys, hurry up because we need more water for alcohol. Do we have any sugar? Not enough sugar for alcohol, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, what does it take to purify the alcohol again? Water filters, I believe. Oh yeah, more food. More, more food? More food, Bruno. Go grab that. Don't, you could've just gone up the stairs like a normal person, all right. Do some parkour while you're at it. Get your exercise in for the day. It's still kind of chilly, 50 degrees? It's a little, little on the cold side, because oh, our fuel burned out, uh, burned out again. Yeah, it's getting rather chilly. I understand. Bait the trap. Go throw in some more fuel. Keep everyone from freezing. Although it's not freezing yet, we still don't want to get sick. That's pretty devastating. Right now, if we all fall ill and die, there you go. Yeah, six fuel. What do you think about that? Winter. Uh, purifying alcohol takes a water filter and fuel. And we have like a lot. We make two. We only have one water filter. Go make another water filter. Go make more water filters, more fuel. Get toasty. Anton is set. Anton goes go have a snack then. Happy to hear Anton's feeling fine. We can't make water filters. We have no components. Sad. So forget it then. Or no, go make, then just go make two. Go make two alcohol. You're hungry, go have a canned food. Pavel's sleep got interrupted. Produce. Enough sleeping. Alright, Pavel, get up there. Get ready to make some more stuff. Uh, can, can we make anything? We have, like, no components. Three herbs, not much I can do with three herbs. Uh, we can bandage something, maybe? Bandage what? Like, we can make bandages, we can't make... Can we make bandages? It requires herbs. And what else to make bandages? I ain't telling, check the, check the bandage factory. Can we make any bandages? No. Because we need the purified alcohol and more components. So, almost. Not quite. Uh, Katya, you're feeling kind of sad. That's fine. It's all getting so hard. It's so hard. Everything's just so hard. Why is everything going to be so hard? It's so hard. Alright, alcohol. Uh, grab the alcohol. Almost got alcohol. Grab the Bruno. Okay, so everyone's fed. We just don't have. We can't produce anything. We have no component. We don't have the raw materials we need to really produce anything of significance. I would love to upgrade our uh, weapons workbench, but there's not much to do there. Yeah, I sit on the floor. At least it's kind of warmish. Almost 60 degrees. That's pretty good. Beware of bands of looters. Okay, we have. Oh, we're low on bullets too, aren't we? Eight bullets is actually not that bad. So we need Pavel to go out to the construction site, or we need to send Katya out to trade. And I think we're done for today. There's just so little to do. 
without uh, components, mostly a bunch of wood. Without raw materials, there's not much for us to do other than wait for these plants to grow, wait for these traps to trigger. Or dig up more snow. I'm pretty sure we have enough snow. We have four bits of snow. Uh, yeah, just, just call it the evening? I think we just call it an evening. The night time. And I think it was too late. I don't think uh, the trader is going to show up. So construction site still had stuff in it. Let's send Pavel up to the construction site. Katya, you're sad, so go ahead and sleep in bed. You guys be on guard. Then, or we can send Katya out to trade. Who would we trade with? We stole from the semi-detached house. We stole all their stuff already. We stole from, like, most people already. St. Mary's Church. We don't have a lot of medication. That's what we mostly want to trade for. The military outpost is the only thing I can really think of, and I don't think they have enough things that I want to actually use, take advantage of. The brothel, I think, is mad at us. I don't really remember that, but probably mad at us. So we just go to the construction site, yeah, and just scavenge that as much as we can. Unless there's somewhere else I'm thinking of that might be better. There's still some stuff at the supermarket. Uh, they have a lot of stuff. Still. Already, like, took all of their, so much of their stuff, though. All the easy to get stuff, I should say. The church is scary and they just shoot you on site. Uh, construction site, let's go back to construction site. We know it's potentially safe. Uh, I don't need to bring anything as far as I remember. So go scavenge, Pobble. Pobble. We have this door we opened up from last time. I don't want to be sprinting around just in case there's anyone. Um, any new residents here? So we'll just walk nice and chill. Nice and relax. Can we get down there? Why does this place... Why does this place exist if we can't get down there? Because you want to get down here. I don't think you can get further than that, can you? I don't think so. Alright, Pavel, can you... There's a pile here. Now, the danger here is that there's a lot of lines of sight for um, dudes with guns to shoot Pavel dead. So if we get spotted, we're in potentially a lot of trouble. A component, a wood. Wood is fuel, one-to-one -one ratio, so that's fine. And components, we're in desperate need of components, so I have a severe component shortage. I don't see or hear anyone. Still should be cautious. No one there. Pop open the door. What about through here? Can we get up there? Actually, from here? Is there anything in there worth our time? No. Can we get up here, Bobble? So we can just get up here. There might be more stuff. This also might be where bad guys are. They might just be in the penthouse. Still don't see anyone. That's a door. Never mind. So you can't get across there. You have to climb up here. At the very top of the area. Uh, no, walk over here. Be cautious, though. Okay, still not seeing anyone. This place might be abandoned. Which is fine for Pavel. Can you get up there? I can't. We really want to try to drag the camera up further, but we can't. This place might be abandoned. I don't hear anyone, we don't see anyone. We're at nearly the top of the whole level. Can you get can you get up here from here? I'm not sure how to get there. Just, can you jump? Can you not, how do you get up there? That's the way you get up there, Pavel. Do we need this we need a saw blade? Oh come on. We didn't know we needed a saw blade. Oh, that sucks. So they're the what is left to scavenge here, we need a saw blade for. Wow, that's actually, otherwise we have pretty much nothing to do here, right? I believe we scavenged everything else. Yeah. Well, there's no one here we can run, no problem. Nope, nobody here. No one down here, nothing. No one down here. Anyone over here? Yeah, we're coming home mostly empty-handed. That's pretty rough. Good thing we're in an otherwise decent spot. So, 
It's not as if we're ditched because Pavel has a bad night scavenging. So we do come back, we need a saw blade. I thought there'd be more up there. At least stuff we can access without any tools. Should we had a saw blade? Should have just brought a saw blade. I know there's not that much to take out of here anywhere. We had a saw blade, should have just brought it. Well, that was a un unfruitful night on the town, Pavel. We have plenty of food and we have plenty of fuel, so we should. I guess it shouldn't kill us. We should be okay. It's all right, Pavel. We should have brought the saw blade. We didn't know. You got a piece of wood. You got at least some fuel, and we are sh disturbingly low on bullets. Although we need to make lots of water, which means we need lots. Of, just to make all fuel. Just we need all the fuel we can get. Um, Pavel, go add some stuff. I'm not tired. You're not tired. Oh, well, Pavel, never mind. Pavel, you go to sleep. Kaya, you, you throw fuel in there. That's right, pa <laughs> Kaya's not tired because I let her sleep through the night. You go to sleep, Anton. Bruno, after you're done cooking, be sure to also go to sleep. Veggies! Veggies, Kaya! It's veggies! Get the veggies, Kaya! There's so many veggies, that's so good for us. Four veggies. We've done it. We can now turn one of those veggies into... I'd rather just turn the meat. I feel like we have, it's easier to get meat than it is veggies. So turn the meat into compost. And then... Bam! We have no water, never mind. If we get herbs, we can start producing bandages for trade would be great. We need food. I have food. Oh, there's Mr. Trader, man. We have no water filters. Guess what? I hope you have water filters or water because uh, I forgot we're in water. Uh, problem with water. Hey, are we going to tr trade or what? Yeah, we're going to trade for sure. I need your water. I need your wood. I need your components. Yo, Franco, I need you to help me. And we have medication for you. And we have a bunch of alcohol for you. We even have some toys if you want. Because I'll give you the toys. Because we need help. We need help desperately, Franco. I need you to help me, man. Um, all the water. And spare. Which is all the water. And then... More veggies. And meat. Because we want to stay on top of our food. And then raw components. Man, he does not want to give us anything. But we need, I mean, we need all the components we can get due to, I mean, we need water filters, we need to build stuff. Deal. No, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. What do you want for the toys? I got some toys for you. Can I get bolts for toys? We can get bolts for toys. What a strange world we live in. All right, that's enough bolts for at least another raid or two. Uh, alcohol? Did you get the moonshine? I think I want to save the pure alcohol to bake bandages out of. So I'll sell them the moonshine. Anything else I want? We can get some herbs. And yeah, we can make tobacco. Wait, no. Tobacco creates... To make cigarettes, we need a lot of components. Components are way too valuable right now to make cigarettes out of. And then the, the uh, wood. He's like, whoa, hold on to the wood there. It's very expensive in these times. Alright, that's a good decent enough deal. I kind of don't like giving up that much alcohol, but we need components. The herbs we can use to make bandages. We can trade further for more stuff. And the wood, of course, is fuel or construction equipment. Deal. Okay. That's solid. You now, Bruno. You can cook some big old happy meals for everyone. Delicious. And now, Katya. I think we need water after that. The water we can produce... With the water, we can brew some more veggies or some herbs. I might do herbs for trade. Okay, we that make herbal medication or bandages. I think rather bandages. We're one herb short of more than that. We can go trade that bandages back to him. Maybe get some more. Get some more stuff. Because we obviously want stuff. Stuff's very imp critically important to us right now. Just, just stuff. Now, right, Bruno, eat your hard-earned meal. And then you need to go, you're in a nap. Go, go to sleep, Bruno. 
Got ya. You now you go eat a meal. So these veggies last us another couple of days. We need more. We also need herbs to. We also need the herb. Oh, we don't have enough water. What am I doing? Until they eat, we don't have enough water to do anything with. See if he wants anything for these banches. I don't think he has that much more left that we want. Other than maybe some wood. That's not that much wood. A can of food. Maybe. There's not much he has for us. I think we just kick him out for now. I also want all this tobacco. Is there anything I can get? Anything you can get this tobacco for? That's not too expensive. I'm feeling no. Why don't you ever have fertilizer, Franco? That'd be brilliant if we could get some fertilizer off you. Nah, Franco man, sorry. I think, I think that's it for today. See you later. Please come again. I will I will need you to come again, but for now that's it. For now that's all we're gonna do. Alright, Pavel, go eat up. Anton, you're still tired. Are you still tired? You've been sleeping the same time as everyone else, alright. Get up there and prepare to eat as well. Oh, we need water filters. I didn't, that's, ooh, need to get that started. Because that's what we need for water. We need water filters. How many can we produce? We can actually make another rainwater collector. It doesn't help in the winter, of course. I'm just pointing out that, you know, potentially we could make like three, make four of them. It's a lot, but we need them. And Anton, eat up. Bruno, I don't think Bruno gets bonuses for making water. So, uh... Eh, Anton, make yourself useful. Make some water for us. Was that teach? Teach. 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 Anton can teach. What does that mean? Anton, teach. Teach, teach. What does that mean, Anton? What are you teaching? Who are you teaching? Teach. This is a button there for Anton. Teaching. He's a teacher. Anton's a teacher. What can he teach? Teach. Teach, teach, teach. What does teach? I don't, I don't... I've never seen that button before. Was it there always, or is it just for Anton? No, no, there's other people have teach. What does teach mean? I have not seen, can he teach, can like Bruno teach other people to cook? Well, is that, is like something like that? Um, uh, Bruno's stop being tired so I can experiment. We'll go make some water, Anton. There, 12 water. Making the water as quick. All right, is there anything? I don't think there's anything else here we can make. Nope. Pavel, get up there and get ready to do some gardening. Nine. Ten. All right, get the veggies going again. We will save... Because that's so many veggies to get. And the veggies are so good. We'll, we'll do, maybe we'll do a round of herbs next time so we can make more bandages and such. Uh, alright, I think... Damn it, there are no smokes left. Oh, we should've got some cigarettes for poor Bruno. My bad. Sorry, Bruno. Could've grabbed a couple cigarettes for you, I suppose. And I kicked the guy out and I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, no more sugar. We sold our alcohol. Alright, so once this is done, I think we're all set for the, for the day, for the evening. Okay, we got some more bullets. I think everything's set. Oh, we could grab some more snow. It's not like a big deal though. End of the day. Snow is still gonna be there. <laughs> the snow isn't going anywhere. Alright, so you're still sad, so you sleep in bed. Guard, guard, scavenge. Now where though? The where is it? The not semi-detached house. I think it was the hotel I was thinking of. No. Maybe it was the hotel, or is it the supermarket I'm thinking of? Because I think the supermarket, if we bring a saw, we might be able to get some stuff out of the supermarket. Because otherwise we're treading some dangerous areas, and I'm trying to... Maybe if we go back to St. Mary's Church, those bandits will be gone. A group of armed men are said to occupy the vestry now. Oh, or maybe they're back. Never mind. It says they have a huge... They have lots of stuff, though. We can afford another night without gaining much. We can afford another sparse winter night. Some meds, some sparse military apples has a ton of stuff, but of course it's well defended. It's a military. Go check out Sniper Junk. Let's go to St. Mary's Church and hopefully 
similar to construction site, it's not, they're not there. And if they are there, Pavel runs for his life. Bring a saw just in case. I probably see any scary men get out of there. I don't want you to get shot because I have to bandage you, and bandages are very expensive. Very expensive. Grab whatever junk you can get. We're into whatever, anything, that's fine. One gunpowder. We can use that, eventually make bullets, or even just sell it. Like, we're at a point where we have to sell parts of bullets. That's obviously a desperate situation, but... We're going to be thankful if we have extra junk if we're in that, that, uh, we're at that point. Okay, I'm not seeing or hearing anyone yet. If we could, you know, maintain that, that'd be perfect. Anything over here worth looting? No. Pavel, stop making so much noise. Pavel, <laughs> you're the worst. We already went down that way and grabbed everything. Uh, we have a saw blade here. Oh, yeah, there's... Our, ooh, hopefully he doesn't hear this. Do you think he'll hear that? No one's shouting anything. So it looks like he might get away with this. Alright, good job. Good job, Pablo. That gives you some stuff in your loot. A teddy bear. That's what was in that pile of rubble. One singular teddy bear. And one gunpowder. Beautiful. Start digging through here. Does he hear it? No, he doesn't hear it. In fact, he's going inside. It's gonna take a long time. We get a couple more looting opportunities. Yeah, you're only gonna to dig through one pile, Bobble. That's that's not gonna change. But that gets us a couple more stuff to loot. Hopefully components are wood. And then maybe if we're lucky, we should just abandon this and gone up here to check if there's anything out front we can steal. I don't, it doesn't look like there'd be anything worth, like anything up here to loot. Maybe that's a block of something lootable. This is probably too risky to even try. A lot of hiding spaces here, not a lot of loot. Should have brought a shovel. We couldn't even make a shovel. I think you need wood to make shovel. We burned all our wood. We burned most of our wood. We might have a little bit of wood left. But if we come back, we definitely need a shovel. How we can sneak in through the basement and do some proper stealing. Which is also proper getting shot in the face. But now we know they don't hang out in the church. Like they don't necessarily they're not necessarily always in the church part. This does take about uh, like four hours to dig through all these piles without a shovel. It's nice that you can do it. The game could have easily just been like, no, can't do it without a shovel. At least it gives you, like, yeah, you can't do it. What? What's happening? Is he just going downstairs or is he going to attack us? Oh, he was just jumping down. He was just taking a long way around. That scared me. Okay, so there's actually just nothing down there. Good to know. Um, Get up here, see if there's anything up here worth. Yeah, be very careful though. Because these men are not joking around. What does this say? There's a mark on the wall. A few words. Here lies Roxy, the best puppy in the world. I'm sorry, Roxy. No, no, don't, 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 don't. We don't know where they are. We know there's like two of them. Way too risky. Uh, it takes like three hours. I don't think we have time to get through this bubble. And this door's probably locked anyway. We'll go until like 2 a.m. and then I think we just leave. What do we get? All or nothing? We got a teddy bear and three gunpowder. It's getting really... Oh, it's getting real sparse out there. We need winter to end. Then we can go to those other places that have been blocked by snow. Do trading. Do some more scavenging. Uh, if he hears us, we got bail. Okay, there's no one hearing us yet. Leave. Leave Pavel. Leave Pavel. Get out of there. Don't mess with these guys. We can't afford to have you get shot. Okay, he didn't hear us. He's like, oh, yeah, there's a big old hole here where there used to be stuff. Weird. Uh, we already looted all that, I know. So Pavel, again, coming home mostly empty-handed. 
Could have messed around, could have hid from him, and then got back and dug a little bit more and played check with him. We would have made very little progress, and would have burned a ton of time, and we don't have much time. So another not particularly productive winter night, which is really, really bad. <laughs> it's threatening to our survival. I think we need to go back to the semi-detached house, I think it was, and just, and just summon our courage to go deep in there and steal a bunch of stuff. Because without a big haul, we're in trouble. Luckily, what's your bio? At the bus station, I learned from other commuters that we were under siege, and no bus towards my town would leave. I was shattered. If it wasn't for me, my friend would have left the town and gone abroad to her aunt. But I convinced her to stay, and now, I don't know if she's well. I haven't heard from her. Well, she may be dead. I'm sorry about that. So things aren't going great. Uh, uh, we have enough food and fuel. We have enough fuel, right? We have enough fuel... And food, we can make some more. Looks like we'll barely get through today. Fine. But we need to... Uh, even if a trader comes, what do we sell? Like, one bandages? One herbal medication? Or even both herbal meds? Uh, we're running... We're, it's getting a little a little thin. It's starting to get a little thin here, for sure. We can make it through another day without dying. Because uh, Bruno can cook up some food with our veggies. And we can use that. We have enough fuel for both water and throw in the heater. Well, after that, if we don't get a big haul, it, it, we're going to actually be in some trouble. Uh, I think we have to go... Yeah, food. I think we have to send Pavel to go steal proper stealing, risky stealing, and risk... Just, we've been avoiding very very much avoiding getting shot anymore, and that's done us well. There might be the point where we need to start taking these risks. We need to break into a house and be, like, in the house and taking their stuff and hiding around corners and trying not to get caught and being super stealthy because I can't think of any other places we can really go to get a lot of stuff. Uh, off the top of my head. I can go back to the construction site with a saw and like get some things. That doesn't seem crazy worth it. Especially because it on the thing is just weapons up there. I think the thing said there's weapons, so it's probably a bunch of weapon parts, maybe a broken gun. Anyway, we're okay for now, but we're very quickly we're we're heading towards a cliff and we need to find a way to steer away from it, otherwise we're gonna be well, going off the cliff and dying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like to the video, subscribe for more fun, Twitch, Twitter, all that, join Discord, and your obscure compliment for the day is that you have great shoes. I'll see you next time.